Hi everyone, Fintan here from Damson. This week I wanted to talk about Google Meet and specifically the additional features for enterprise that Google have released for all end users um, of organizations who use G Suite. So that's both education, nonprofit, and private businesses that are using G Suite Basic and G Suite Business. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into a, a Google meeting. Uh, so I generally have meet.google.com open. Uh, you'll see here that it has your upcoming meeting. So my uh, faux show uh, are running a video training uh, later on today. And I can, I can join this meeting here. Uh, directly from uh, from my meet.google.com uh, or my director's catch up later on. So if you add these to your calendar or if it's if it if you're invited from your calendar, it will it would automatically um, be here. And I often just have this open so that I can um, jump into it into a meeting really quickly. But what I wanted to show you before you kind of dive into that um, is that before you actually open the, the video call, you can check your settings. So you can check uh, the microphone that you're using here. Now, if you're using an external microphone, I have um, an external mic here, which is uh, one of the Jabra devices. This is actually sold with the Google Meet kit, if you get those uh, for, for a meeting room. And these are great because the, the audio and the, um, and the microphone are, are both within here. It's both the speaker and a microphone. You can easily uh, hardware mute on here and things like that. Um, so, so these will set you back now only probably about, I'd say 50 quid. I think at the time I got it was, it was much more, but um, you can certainly pick up the, the lower end ones for, that, for, for 50 or 100 euros. Um, and, and it's a fantastic addition. Obviously the other alternative is I, I have, have one here, a, a um, headset uh, that you could wear. Most people now will have headsets. If, if you've nothing, even just something like your, your smartphone um, headphones that you would get would, would just mean that there isn't an echo. I did a separate video on, on uh, video etiquette uh, that I will share here as well. Okay, so I can I can do a little drop down here and I can I can check what mic and speaker is being used. I can see the audio uh, going up and down so I know that it's working. I can test the speakers and I can hear a little ring so I know that, that it's working. I can go into my video and I can I can position my video and make sure that um, I've got a, a nice clean background and I can see what camera uh, it's using. In this case, it's using my FaceTime. Maybe I might want to use an external uh, camera. So here I've got an external camera which has a, a slightly wider shot. Um, so again, you, you, you may want to use that um, for more professional setup or if there was a, a, a couple of people, unlikely in this current environment, but if there was a couple of people on the call. And so I can in ensure that my settings are correct. Now I'm going to start a new meeting um, just to show you how to do that. But as you can see, uh, as I said earlier, my, my meetings that are in my calendar are automatically there. So I'm gonna call this Finton Test Meeting. Um, and I'm gonna hit continue on this. And you can see that this is getting ready here. And, and it gets ready and again, it's giving me the, an additional opportunity to check if I, uh, or if I want to, to check my, my settings on, on here. So uh, again, I can join, I can uh, use other audio options. So you can now dial in as well into a, a video call, which is quite good uh, if maybe you're in an area where the sound isn't quite, uh, isn't, isn't, isn't quite good because of your bandwidth. Particularly now with so many people working from home, people's um, internet can, you know, can be a little bit choppy. So, so depending on where you are, you, you can check and it will give you a dial-in number and a pin code um, so that's great and you can also have the, the system call you as well so you can actually put in your phone number and, and the system will, will dial you that's uh, only available in the US and Canada um, so I'm going to join the video call now so I'm, I'm entering my video call because there's nobody else in the meeting uh, it's come up here that I uh, with the details and I can copy the, that information and, and send it to somebody in an email um, on the right hand side, I've got the little three dots and I can go up here and I can change my layout. I quite like this new layout feature. I tend to leave it on, on automatic, um, but you can, if you want, set it to sidebar where it puts everybody in the, in the sidebar. Uh, the spotlight one is quite good. If you've got somebody presenting, it will um, um, sort of stay uh, focused on them. And then tiled is sort of large tiles, uh, which again is quite good. You've got sort of three or four people in a, in a call. Um, the other things along here are captioning. So when you turn captioning on, it will actually come up 
on the screen what you're saying, which again is quite valuable if maybe you um, are in an area where it's people are chopping in and out or um, maybe there's language barriers, things like that. Uh, having it come up on the screen can be useful. I'm gonna turn that off. And then you've also got your settings, which brings me back to the, the settings that I had before so I can check my, my definition. Um, if you're in, a, in an area where there's, again, maybe low bandwidth, you can reduce the definition to 360p as opposed to 720. So that will just mean that both your sending and receiving, you can, you can change those and it will just mean that it's not putting as much pressure on um, your internet. I can present my screen, so I can present my entire screen or a window here. And again, that can be really valuable um, if I want to uh, if I want to to share maybe you know want to share this on the on, on on the screen or I want to share a presentation or something like that. I could run through a, a set of slides and present those. Uh, and then, as I was saying, you can actually record the meeting now. When you hit record, it will say make sure that you've asked people for their consent, um, because obviously it may be with GDPR now, it may be illegal to record if you haven't done that. And if I hit accept, uh, it's saying recording is going to start soon, and we'll see a little recording button appear up in the the top right hand corner. I can see it here trying. I've gotten a little audible. Uh, Bing and it is now recording for me. So um, I could now present my screen perhaps and run through a, a, a recording uh, and when I hit stop on this it will save that recording into my, when I click stop on that, it's going to save my recording into my Google Drive and we can see that the recording has disappeared. Uh, down at the bottom you can mute yourself, if you want to mute your microphone, you can turn your camera off if you want to do that. And then the last thing I want to show you was the streaming. So I showed you the recording and I will show you where that is. Uh, so I'm going to drop out of this and I'm going to go into my Google Calendar. I'm going to create a new calendar appointment and I'm going to go into more options. And in the more options, uh, I can add the name of my meeting. Uh, all hands, we'll call it. And when I click on the video conferencing, I add Hangout Meet uh, video conferencing, and then there's a little drop down arrow on the right hand side. I click on that, and I can just click on Add Live Streaming. And once I add live streaming, it's going to add a stream, uh, stream.meet.google.com. And all I need to do is invite people to that or copy that link. And that is the link that my video will be streamed on. Um, basically when I go in there and begin that. So a fantastic way to both record meetings and, and stream live events uh, in terms of presenting, e-learning, training, education, so many uses uh, that it could be used for, particularly um, at the moment where, where people are, are stuck uh, from home or working from home in many cases. So I just wanted to run through those, those super quick features. The last thing that I want to cover is just how to turn those features on. Um, it's under the meet settings for any of the admins. Uh, you can turn on for a subset of the organization or all of the organization. You just go into the recording and the streaming and you just make sure that um, that basically both of those things are, are turned on and, and that's it. Um, it's, as, it's as simple as that. The up to 250 people will automatically um, be enabled. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this super quick update. I hope you were surviving okay working from home. Uh, and I hope some of the updates that we've been doing recently have been making it a little bit easier uh, to learn to work from home effectively and efficiently and you know do things like video conferencing to try and stay in contact with your team um, and indeed your families. We've been doing hangouts uh, with our family as well because obviously we're all isolated um, in, our, in our homes. And I think video is the only way really we have to, to stay connected now. Um, and things like messaging and instant messaging and things like that. So that's it for me. Um, I will see you next week. And um, if there's any topics that you'd like us to cover, particularly around remote working, as I said, we've been doing this for, for almost a decade. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks. Mm -hmm.